Welcome to the vCloud Automation Center video, Fabric Management, Configuring Fabric Groups. As part of the vCloud Automation Center Fabric Configuration process, we are going to explore how infrastructure resources will be organized into fabric groups so that they can be allocated to vCloud Automation Center consumers for use in deploying infrastructure and application services. In the Discovering Fabric Resources video, we defined the management endpoints and vCloud Automation Center went out and discovered all the virtual, physical, and cloud resources that could be potentially used by vCloud Automation Center. Just because vCloud Automation Center discovers these resources does not mean that they can be used to provision new virtual machines and applications. They first must be organized and then allocated to the different tenants and business groups. After discovery, the next step in the infrastructure fabric organization process is to aggregate resources into one or more fabric groups. Many companies that have a single tenant and multiple business groups sharing resources will only need a single fabric group. A fabric group needs one or more administrators who will be responsible for managing the resources of that fabric group. This could be the same person as the infrastructure administrator, but there is enough role granularity to allow separation of responsibilities if needed. In addition to assigning the fabric administrator, the infrastructure administrator then assigns resources to the fabric group from the collection of discovered resources. Fabric groups can also be used to segregate resources used by one organizational group from another. Many companies will likely only have one fabric group However, if you need to make sure that one tenant or business group cannot have VMs on the same host as another tenant or business group, you can allocate the resources from different fabric groups. So let's demonstrate how the infrastructure administrator configures the fabric groups. We're going to use the fabric configuration goal navigator that we started when we configured the management endpoints. The next step is to create the fabric groups by clicking on the fabric group task in the goal navigator. As you can see, the demo administrator has already configured a fabric group for our fictitious company, Nefosoft. Because our company is relatively small and we want to share resources across different business groups, we only have one fabric group. However, we can add more as needed by clicking on the New Fabric link in the upper right hand corner. However, instead of configuring a new fabric group, let's explore how one is configured by editing our existing Nefosoft fabric group. Every fabric group has a name, description, and a list of administrators that can reserve resources in the fabric group to tenants and business groups. The infrastructure admin then selects from a list of discovered virtual, physical, or cloud resources that they want to allocate to that fabric group. This is a fairly simple process. This completes our video on configuring fabric groups. In the next video, we will explore configuring business groups and reserving resources from our fabric groups for those business groups. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope that it was informative, and to learn more about vCloud Automation Center, there are additional videos available.